Foods employee at the Swampscott store has died from the coronavirus. It's a heartbreaking reminder how potentially dangerous grocery store jobs are during this pandemic. WBZ's Beth Germano spoke to the victim's son, who is devastated. His family says he was the hardest working man, 53-year-old Leon Marin of Lynn, who died Wednesday of complications from COVID-19. His son says he gave his all to his family. He'd go to work every day with like a smile, like he was happy to go to work. Yeah, he, he was tired all the time, but he enjoyed what he did. Marin worked 70 hours a week, dividing his time as a cook between the Swampscott Whole Foods and a food shop at Logan Airport. But he became ill three weeks ago and finally was placed on a ventilator. His family never able to say goodbye. None of us were expecting that, and the hardest part was we weren't even able to be there with him. Um, so we weren't even able to, like, apologize. We weren't able to, like... You know, talk to him. And it was a heartbreak for regular shoppers who've come to rely on the service of grocery store workers. They may not know his name, but they feel for his family and co workers. I'm here a lot. These workers are, you know, part of my family. So I, yeah, my heart breaks really for everybody who's suffering and for. For those on the front lines that have to risk their lives every day. Just last week, 59 year old Vitalina Williams, a Salem Market Basket employee, died from the virus. Swampscott has adopted strict guidelines requiring all shoppers and employees to wear masks inside retail stores. The head of the Board of Selectmen says Whole Foods has followed the mandate. Really good communication, really good cooperation. Everybody seems to be taking it very seriously and very responsive to things that we're asking for. But Leon Marin's family prayed for a miracle that never came. We've been trying to keep it together, but um, like, I just can't get over the fact that he's gone. In a statement, Whole Foods called it an incredibly difficult time and will offer counseling to support its workers who do the job every day. In Swampscott, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.